Hello! I know I look a little bit different today, but that's because I want to read to you a story. This story is from the Brownie books, which were created a very, very, very long time ago by W.E. Du Bois, who was the editor. And the title is called A Visit to Fairyland. This uh, book was, this story was written by Bertie Lee Hall. So, I have a few pictures that I'm going to try to show you as I read this story to you. And I hope you enjoy it. This story is about um, a, a little girl. There are, you know, there are folk tales. Um, there are kinds of stories that were not real. Fantasy, which means they're kind of made up. Um, so what I'm also going to do, I found some music that I think I wanted to play while this story was being read. Okay, so here we go. Once there was a very adventurous girl by the name of Esther. Her skin was brown and her hair was a shower of black curls. She was kind and loving to everyone that she met. One day, Esther got lost in the forest. She wandered here and she wandered there until she was so tired she sat at the foot of a great big oak tree. After a while, she was surprised to see a tiny lady coming towards her. This lady was so tiny. She reminded Esther of rose petals and her dress seemed to be made of cobwebs. Her hair was golden, but it was bound by a wreath of leaves and daisies, and she carried a little box. I am a fairy, the tiny lady said. Oh, said Esther, I didn't think there were any more fairies. If you don't believe me, you may come and see with me. I would be delighted. The fairy told Esther to shut her eyes and count to three. One, two, three. Esther did as she was told and she opened her eyes. She found herself in a cozy room and the fairy led her to a very small table to drink a glass of nectar. Immediately, her tiredness went away. Now come, she said, we will visit the insect fair. Esther followed the fairy and she saw so many different crowds of insects. Some she knew and some she had never seen before. She had come face to face with a beetle. It looked so funny, Esther couldn't help but laugh at them. They were pretty colored banners coming from the booths and everybody was very happy. And the caterpillars looked very warm in their fur coats, humming and buzzing, made the insects in the fair kind of noisy. Here, said the fairy, here is the ants booth. Esther could hardly believe her eyes to see so many ants. They were moving all around and they had so many um, ant hills. The ants were even busy at the fair. Some were carrying seeds, some roots, some jam, and some had little small cakes. You may eat what you like said the fairy. Oh no, exclaimed Esther. 
Why? asked the fairy. I've just seen that large red ant sting a little fly for eating some jam, said Esther. So next, they went to the grasshoppers booth. The grasshoppers were great musicians. They played and sang for the people at the fair. Then they went to the bees booth. The bees were smart and had baby bees and they were making honey and some wine of honey and dew. It was called honey foam. Esther tasted it and found that it was very delicious. So then the fairy led her to the spider's booth. The spiders were great spinners and one showed Esther some dresses she had spun for the fairies. Then they went to the crickets booth. The crickets were also musicians and one had a morning glory horn, another had a buttercup drum and the other had curious instruments only found in fairyland. But why do you stare at Miss Ladybug? Asked the fairy. I know her, for she is the one that told me about this garden. Ladybug, Ladybug, fly away home. Your house is on fire and your children are alone. And she flew away the same Miss Ladybug that she saw at the fair. The June bugs had on their changeable colored coats. I know one of them too, said Esther. Let's go to the butterfly booth, suggested the fairy. You can guess what splendid booth the butterflies had. Their flowers were in so many different colors. Esther was aware that the king was coming and he was walking toward them. Come take a ride, he said. Esther got on the side of his broad wings and the fairy on the other. They rode for a long time around the fair. Esther saw dragonflies with banners in her hands inviting everybody to the firefly dance. Esther hurried and hurried and hurried. Oh, there's the fireflies. Esther hurried and hurried and hurried. She did not want to miss the ballroom. It was brilliantly lit with, with light. Esther knew it wasn't anything she had seen before. It seemed to be made of glass and the beautiful light glowed beneath their feet. The fairy told Esther that the glow worms made the light and it was a very pretty sight to see. So the fairy carried Esther to the garden and told her how the blind mole plowed it for them. Oh dear, said Esther, I want a drink of water. The fairy gave her a drop of dew on an acorn. Then Esther said she was sleepy and the fairy put her in a little bed. When Esther woke up, she found herself under the oak tree. She found the way home as best as she could and told her mother the wonderful story about fairyland. Mama, she said, the fairies don't allow birds of any kind to come to the fair. Hmm, I do wonder why. So that was a story from the Browns book called A Visit to Fairyland by Bertie Lee Hall. This is part of our 
culturally relevant um, teaching initiative. And just we wanted to introduce you to um, Esther, a beautiful brown little girl that had an adventure in the fairyland. So it's awesome. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I thought it was a great story. So now it is your turn to try to remember the story. And what I'm going to ask you to do is to draw at least three things that you remember from the story. And we're going to create a book. And that book will be entitled, A Visit to Fairyland. We'll just say Fairyland for short. And it will be written by you. So you can draw the pictures. You can write a sentence. We're probably going to be doing this activity over a couple of days or start it in the morning and finish it in the afternoon. Or you may finish it during the um, afternoon when school is out. So I'm so glad you spent some time with me to enjoy the story about Fairyland. And I can't wait to see what your books look like. So I'll see you later. Bye-bye.